It's time for a Rams Rewind. This is Bob Red. Men's volleyball was in action at home and on the road. The squad dropped a match at Coker in four sets before returning home to face Milligan in an exhibition. The Rams dominated the Buffaloes and claimed a three-set win. Next up for the volleyball team is a tri-match in Arlington, Virginia against Cairn and host Marymount University. Women's basketball split a pair of games the past week. At Milligan, the Rams fell to the number 25 Buffaloes 69-59. Mariah Mazik led Bluefield with 18 points and 7 rebounds. Shelby Key dropped in 12 points and dished out 4 assists. And Monique Robson added 10 points with 5 rebounds and 2 steals. In a home game against Truett McConnell, the Rams claimed a 73-58 win. Danae Cox came off the bench and hit five three-pointers to lead Bluefield with 15 points. Denisha Goods had a double-double. She popped in 12 points with 10 rebounds and had three steals. Mariah Mazik added 11 with eight boards and Robson scored 10 with five assists. The men honored coach Richard Morgan for obtaining his 100th career coaching victory. Bluefield College President Dr. David Olive presented Morgan with a commemorative basketball prior to the Truett McConnell game. The Rams then proceeded to shut down the Bears 101-62. Corderas Towns paced the Rams with 20 points, 8 rebounds, and 3 blocks. Zeke Williams finished with 18 points. Robert Pinkston came off the bench to score 11, and Alonzo Howard had 10 points and 7 rebounds. Earlier in the week, the Rams fell at Milligan 63-57. Towns had a double-double with 14 points and 11 boards, while Joseph McLean finished with 13 points. Howard pulled down 10 rebounds. Baseball made its annual trek south to start the season. The Rams lost a pair of games to Warner and Weber International in the Sunshine State. The team is back in action this weekend playing four games in the perfect pitch tournament that's in Lake Point, Georgia. Men's tennis opened its season against NCAA Division I Elon. The Rams fought but fell 7-0. The Netters are back in action February 23rd in a conference match at Union. <laughs>